Okay, so someone asked me a while ago about the Kenwood R2000 DC socket. It's a very, very simple installation. Um, basically, you get supplied with the socket and the cabling. And instead of a connector, a nice white connector like this, you will have push on open pins. So you just push the connection down onto each of the each of this connect, same connection pins here. So you can easily get the polarity wrong, but the positive is nearest the transformer and the negative is towards the front of the radio. If in doubt, just buzz out the pins on a multimeter to find out which is ground. So basically your Kenwood is likely to come with a plastic blanking plate. So you can use the existing screws and they will fit into the retaining bracket. As you can see, the metal retaining bracket there, they just screw straight in. So you don't need to use the nuts and bolts supplied um, and actually they were a little bit wider than the metal openings so it's easier to use the existing screws if you can otherwise you have to file out the metal each side a little bit to get the bolts to fix they are slightly bigger so yeah that's it really um, now one thing to mention is Kenwood did an entirely different polarity to JRC um, my, I've put, I've made sure I've swapped around the cables and I've made sure my dimple is on the bottom, um, and my polarity is in the JRC manner. Your dimple will be on top when you install this kit. So that's the only difference. Um, basically, yeah, it's just, just JRC did it around the other way. So don't mix the JRC cables and, or Kenwood cables, DC cables, because you'll have a nasty, a nasty reverse polarity and it won't do your radio any good. So that's the only thing I, I've just set this one up in the in the manner of JRC, and it's just the socket I've changed. I haven't. You don't need. To, don't do anything here. So this is hundred percent correct, and this is what you would. This kit is what you would get, but but your plus will be on this side, basically of the socket. That's the only point I've changed it. I've just basically swapped around the wires here on the on the on the socket for the. This is my. This is a JRC. So yours won't be exactly the same as as the socket of mine here. But that's it really, it's a fairly simple kit. Um, yeah, so it's it, it's um, available online on the on a well-known auction site. Probably if you're outside of the US, it's gonna cost you a small fortune in postage, but well, I felt it was worth it for the for the Kenwood R2000. It's, it's quietened it down lovely. So it's, it's, it's a really good thing to do is to fit the D socket. And also it makes it kind of portable and uh, use it elsewhere where there's no AC mains. So yeah, perfect stuff. Anyway, that's it. Um, if you've got any questions, just drop a comment and I'll, uh, I'll try and explain more. But it's a very, very simple fitting of this kit. That's all for now. Bye bye.